It's been some time since we've had the whole of Heart International together, the heart of this group of Heart International, some of the uh, most athletic and uh, devious, I might say, individuals in professional wrestling today. I have with me, of course, Joe Angelo Garcia. Joe, um, things did not go exactly the way you wanted again uh, in the tag match last weekend in Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's right, Kyber. Let me tell you something. This isn't a laughing matter. Let's segue to something else. The only thing that's funny is the teams that stand in our way in that six-man tournament coming up January 11th in Vernon, Texas. We got this handled like Kyrie Herbin with his handles on the court. Best believe that. Another thing is, Nate Collins, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get a bite. And what I want is that title. And best believe, that's going to go around my waist here soon. So hold on to it really, really tight. Well, strong words for Nate Collins. And, of course, the six-man tournament is coming up. We know that we've got one of the toughest stables in Texas, probably the United States, and, of course, maybe one of the most sensitive uh, topics. I'm going to talk with Mr. Mike Gunner, the former heavyweight champion, three-time heavyweight champion. Mr. Gunner, uh, your thoughts on what took place and um, what happened in Pittsburgh, Texas? Yeah, you know, let's get to the matter at hand. Six months, I've sat at home, injured, torn bicep, wasn't able to participate. I come back after sitting six months in the top brass in King of Sports Championship Wrestling comes and strips me of what I've held almost continuously for the last three years. <laughs> now, as we move forward, there's going to be a new set of rules. Like I say, six months, I sat at home and I watched and I lived and I breathed Noby Bryant walking around with the top title in all of King of Sports Alliance. And that's that Alliance Championship. Well, Noby, I got news for you. While for the last six months you've been celebrating smoking cigars, Mike gunner has been sitting at home on the shelf smoking road flares. And I'm telling you, and I'm telling you now, next week, Embry, Texas, JJ is going to present you with a contract. We've been on this ride before, and we're going to go again. And I can promise you, on January 11th, <laughs> you, my friend, are going to have the biggest problem you've ever had in your career. I'm putting my career on the line, and I promise if I can't get the job done, you'll never see me again. But, my friend, we've got stipulations that we want you to agree to as well. <laughs> and one of us is through. Tell them, J.J. Mr. Hart. Well, Mr. O'Sullivan, I bet you and the rest of the KOS management team is just sitting back, laughing, and enjoying what seems to be the end of Hart International. Well, Mr. Hart, I would say you've lost the tag titles, the heavyweight title, and uh, the strong style title. There was once a great philosopher that said he had a dream. Well, I tell you right, I'm living a nightmare right now, but here's the deal. You and everybody else in this promotion knows since King of Sports started, Hart International dominated. Joe Briscoe, your first president, he did everything he could to stop us. And what did we do? Collect gold. That is correct, sir. And money. And money. Now, all you people gather around that, micro, that, that little TV, that computer, whatever you're watching, and you look at me dead in the eye right now. January 16th, Vernon, Texas. The Skandor Akbar statue unveiling. Hard International is going to roll into town. And we are going to pick up the six man, the heavyweight title. We might get the grappler title. Heck, we might even get the tape fist title. But wrap your brains around this, Jack. Between my intellect, their physical tools, oh. Let me cover some things. And if you can't cut in Hard International, we kick you out. Damian Wayne is still out there, and we got a few more surprises. But rest assured, come 1st of February, 
we'll be laying on a beach with gold strapped around our waist. And guess what? You and Mr. Gable are going to have to keep writing them checks. That's a fact, brother. January 11th, Vernon, Texas, Heart International seeing red, and they say that red is for blood.